Look, there's some camels right in front. Woohoo! Hello! Oh, hello! Nice. nice! We just hit a bit of sand in the middle of the road. Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. After riding 3,000 miles across Europe, we are now ready to explore the roads of North Africa. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey around the world and let the adventure begin! Climbing to the top of the biggest dune to get the view. <laughs> it's quarter to seven in the morning. The sun is just rising. And we're just gonna get up, up to here. We made it to the top of the Grand Dune Mazuga. Look at that. Town Mazuga over there. This all looks like stones, but actually, this is all camel poop. <laughs> Look, there's a bit of camel poop. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 51 on our around the world trip. We are here just outside of the town of Merzuga and look at our view for this morning. <sighs> this place where we're staying is directly in front of the Grand Dune of Merzuga, which is right in front and this whole area known as Erg Shebi, which is just a massive area of sand dunes and it is absolutely spectacular here. If you saw the last episode, we actually tried to camp just in front of the dunes. Look at where we've ended up. The tent is set up, Bumblebee is here and the sand dunes are right behind all around us. Look at this. But then a massive, massive sandstorm with rain came. I can't believe it's raining and there's a storm in the Sahara. So we quickly had to pack up and then run inside. And uh, we got actually a room instead. But yeah, we would have loved to just camp in front of it because it looks so, so epic. Yeah, yeah. But the weather wasn't on our side, so... <laughs> no. Next time dunes, next time. <laughs> Yesterday we had a day off the bike and we climbed for sunrise this dune in front of us. It was very exhausting, but it was worth it when we got up and saw this amazing view and you could see the whole of Merzuga, you could see the whole of Erg Shabi and all of just the vastness around it. It was incredible. Yeah, it was super, super epic, but especially the way down was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> It took us probably like one hour to go up and then 10 minutes to go down. <laughs> so we had an awesome time here in Merzuga, but let me show you where we are going to head today. Okay, so we are here at the very, very, very bottom of Morocco, right on the border of Algeria. 
and we are going to be heading back up away from the sand dunes up to Erfud where we are going to be taking this smaller road all the way through to join up with the N10 ending in Tinghir. Just at the start of the Atlas Mountains. Now Ting here is the start of an awesome gorge area, but we are going to explore that area tomorrow. So it's just seven in the morning, which is really, really cool. It looks like that we got the rhythm now to wake up early. So I'm really proud of us. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, we have uh, 130 miles to go, so better hit the road, let's go! Good morning! <laughs> okay, Lavi's gonna walk a little bit, because there's quite a lot of sand at the beginning. So I'm just gonna do the sandy bit on my own, like right now. <laughs> there she is. Oh, camels! Okay, we have to stop and see the camels for a second. Just gonna go and say hi to the camels. <laughs> Hello! Whoa, look at these guys. Wow, they're absolutely massive. Whoa. Look at these beautiful guys. Hello! Up and about, ready to explore the dunes. <laughs> Very cool. All right. Wow, look at this place to drive. Oh my God. This is about as close as we can get to the dunes without driving on the sand. Here it's a little bit uh, still with rocks and stuff. So it's, we're just about able to drive it. Yeah, exactly, just about. I mean, it's uh, but there's bits of here. But there is oh, bits oh. of sand here, look. But I think I'm okay. I'm just gonna go nice and easy round here. Yeah, just, just bit, roll, roll over it. <laughs> this bit here, okay. No worries. That was quite good, yes. There's one more corner now with some sand. I think it's best maybe if you jump off. Yeah, yeah, I will jump off. Okay, got to get around this sandy corner. Oh, oh, oh that's a bit deep. Okay, okay. Oh, sandy start to the morning. Okay, I think that is the last of the deeper sand <sighs> nice cool let's head back into Merzuga look there's some camels right in front that's cute nice look camels that's awesome, that's awesome. camels hello <laughs> hello <laughs> hello <laughs> <laughs> nice nice <laughs> <laughs> this area is just absolutely unique and stunning, hey? Yeah, it is. Oh my god. In the desert! Whee! <laughs> and this is Murzuga coming up in front of us. But we're just taking the little bit of the, the desert off-road path. Uh, look at the camels over there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no way! I want to join the camel train! <laughs> wow! Goodbye Merzuga, goodbye Erg Shevi, the beautiful sand dunes. It was quite the experience to spend some time there. Amazing. And so now we're taking this road back out towards a town called Erfud and look at the view of the dunes next to us. That is absolutely crazy. So this is the whole of Erg Shabi is stretching basically on the right side of us now. And it's just a vast area of dunes, of sand. And I can tell you that all of our equipment and everything, all of our clothes, everything is covered in sand. Everything is so sandy here. But I guess it's to be expected.
we just hit a bit of sand in the middle of the road it's washed onto the road like blown onto the road okay here we go Oh yeah, there we go. Oh. Yeah, so apparently we have to be quite careful on this highway uh, for blown sand. So we'll go a little bit slower and just be careful about that. <laughs> We're coming into Erfud or Arfud as we've seen on the signs and so this is the first major town after Merzuga and from here we take another small road that connects us up to Ting here where we're staying tonight look at this guy with some <laughs> fruit fruit and veg yeah this looks like a much bigger place a lot more happening here than in Merzuga, Merzuga which is basically just for uh, for people to visit the sand dunes, really. We're coming up a bit closer to the hills now, getting more towards the Atlas Mountains again as we head north or northwest. And uh, this is Melab. Yeah, the temperature at the moment is 25 degrees, which is quite nice. Still quite nice this morning, yes, yeah. Yes, yes, it's not too hot. A lot of people out and about. <laughs> Hello. We're back on the Route Nationale 10. We're just coming through Tinejdad and uh, basically we continue on this Route Nationale now all the way through to Tinhir. A lot of people on bicycles again. Look how many people are on bicycles. Amazing. Okay. This fella's doing some stuff on the street. Always got to watch out coming through towns for just obstacles everywhere police controls, people doing construction work, people pulling in and out. Always got to keep your wits about you.
So it looks like we are just about to arrive in Tinghir, which is this like town just in front of us. And behind Tinghir, the mountains are just rising up, up, up. It looks absolutely amazing behind. Yeah, it looks super cool, super cool. We booked our room on booking.com and it was the cheapest room in, th in town. How much was it? It was 9 euro. Oh yeah, that's a good price. <laughs> yes, but it's still uh, not really sure if the place is real or not real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a new listing on booking.com and, and it doesn't have like an exact address, it just says Ting here. Uh, but we have a number to call. Yeah. So uh, I think we're just going to stop when we get into the town and then uh, try to give them a call and find out if the place does exist. Wow, cool. Whoa, look at this. That yeah. is green. Yeah. So that's the center that we're just about to head into. And it's like surrounded by this, again, date palm oasis, which is super cool. Oh, nice, look at this. Beautiful. Wow. What a beautiful place for a town. Look at this walls on the side here. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Yeah, every building looks like a castle. Yeah. Maybe we can park over there somewhere. Maybe just here on the side of the road. And then ah. we can sit here. Okay. Yep. Sounds good. The uh, host has walked over here to show us where to go. So we've got to get on the bike, go and find him. He's walking down the street over there. Okie dokie. Okay, so we're looking for the guy in a grey checker shirt <laughs> and he's walked off this way somewhere where is that guy he's going ah I think I see him up ahead yes I think I see him ah yes I see him I see him come for the late stop yes yes Tombuktu 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 please stop okay stop shukran thank you okay so we go to the lights, we take a left. Did you understand what he said about Timbuktu? Yeah, he said stop at Timbuktu. What's Timbuktu? Okay, look out for something. <laughs> look out for Timbuktu. Da -da -da -da. Okay. All right, let's pull up here. I don't see a Timbuktu. No. Timbuktu? Yes. Ah, I love. Oh, yeah, Hotel Timbuktu. I see it, I see it. Just here? Okay. Okay. Go check this out. Aha. Good afternoon, guys. We arrived happy and safe at our place here in Tingir. And Bumblebee is safely in a locked garden downstairs. <laughs> Ready to go to bed. <laughs> it was a really awesome ride. I really loved the, the camels. It was a little bit dangerous as well because there was sand on the road and we had to stop suddenly. So this was really, really crazy. Yeah, a couple of times we were just going down and then suddenly a strip of sand yes. and we were like, whoa, oh my <laughs> God. One time we slowed down and managed to film a little bit and I kind of edged over it. But the second time we were coming up over a ridge, didn't have a chance to slow it down just went straight over it and straight through it it was pretty hairy but uh yeah no we, we made it through safe and sound yes. so it was all good but the desert was absolutely beautiful just how massive everything is down there in the south of Morocco and oh, it's just yeah it was epic it was an epic ride today really really beautiful so that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the episode if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel <laughs> <laughs> please comment below and we will see you in the next video <laughs>